The weather outside is super hot right now, and I thought it'd be fun to try to make some recipes that are about cultural, kind of rare summer drinks from around the world. This recipe is certainly a unique recipe. It's made with the peel of a pineapple instead of the actual fruit itself, which is really nice. So if you have leftover pineapple, this is what you can do with the shell. The drink turned out to be really, really awesome. So let's get started, actually. First off, we need one pineapple shell. Shell, peel, I actually I have, no, I have no idea what, what it's actually called. So for the actual pineapple, we can remove the fruit and um, we can use this in another recipe. Here, we're just going to focus on the part that I've normally been throwing away all these years. So this is actually really nice to actually have use for this. So we're going to take this shell and we're just going to cut it into smaller pieces, including the core. This really helps with the next step, which is we need to boil this. So we want to make sure that everything can fit into our pot. And I might have gone for a little bit too small of a pot here. Basically, we need to add um, four liters of water around one gallon. Uh, place the pieces in and we're gonna boil this for about 30 minutes just to really soften this up so that it's not so uh, tough. In a separate pan uh, we're gonna actually create some spices in water. The reason we don't just put the spices directly into the pot is later we're gonna blend everything together. So we're gonna need about half a liter of water or about two cups and the spice mixture is kind of up to you. I'm adding two cinnamon sticks, four to eight cloves, and later I also added one star anise. Set this on medium and just kind of let this simmer for a while and kind of as if it was a tea for example. While we're waiting for the spices to infuse with the water and the pineapple to soften, we can actually measure the last two ingredients. We need some rice, about 180 grams, and we also need 120 grams of sugar. When the pineapple has been boiling for 20 of its requisite 30 minutes, we can add the rice and sugar. We can now also just strain the spice water directly into our mixture as well. Now we'll let this go for the last 10 minutes, and at which point your rice should be soft. If your rice isn't soft or isn't quite there yet, just let it boil for a few minutes until it is. Once this is done, we're now really in the home stretch. Pull out your blender, your food processor, or whatever you need to to actually mix this up uh, and blend it together. Once it's smooth, we can catch all of the pulp, cool the strained juice completely, and we're done. This drink tastes great. It's really amazing. It's the thick juice really reminded me in texture to like banana nectar. I don't know if you guys have ever had this. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and uh, bye.